Also, uh, today is a day of fasting. It is a meaningful fast. What does that mean? It means how we allow ourselves to enter into a different plane, a different space, a different moment of kiddushah, of sanctification, of holiness. Um, so we, we say, may you have a meaningful fast, that you should have a meaningful opportunity, meaningful moments of this time of Yom Kippur and this time of reflection. Therefore, it is not a time of self deprivation where we're going to hurt ourselves. So again, please, if you are taking medications, if you are not able to fast, please don't, all right? Nobody will get any closer to God um, because they say, oh, I can do it, okay? If you are not feeling well, please take care of yourself. Pekuach nefesh is the greatest mitzvah of all, taking care of ourselves. Of, of the survival of each, of each soul is the most important. If you need something, find one of the staff members. We have supplies. Um, also throughout the service, because as the day goes on, from the morning service to the afternoon and yiskor and nila, um, there are moments where we are standing for quite a while. If you feel lightheaded, please sit down. God hears your prayers in whatever position you are in. So. This, again, this holiday is a time for us to be focusing, yes, on body and soul, but not hurting ourselves. So allow ourselves to be fully present. Ma tovu o halecha Yaakov mishkenotecha Yisrael. How beautiful are your tents, O Jacob. All of us who enter into this tent today, into this sacred space of being able to pray together and worship together, those of you who are streaming in, you enter this tent with us. We have Elizabeth in Chicago. We have Michael in Minnesota. We have Peter and Heather in Baltimore. We have so many others who are streaming in. Thank you. You are a part of this tent. So many other family members are part of this tent. How beautiful it is. We look on high. Your dwelling places, O Jacob. Your tents, O Yisrael. Page 138. Adonai ahavti meon beitecha umekom mishkan kevodecha vani eshtachave veechra hevrecha lifnei Adonai oh si. We continue on page 156.
ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר יצר את האדם בחוכמה. וברא בו נקבים נקבים, חלולים חלולים, גלוי וידוע לפני כיסי כבודך, שאם יפתח אחד מהם, או יסתם אחד מהם. אי אפשר להתקיים ולעמוד לפניך. ברוך אתה אדוני, רופא הו בשר ומפליא לעשות. We praise you, Holy One. for wondrous acts of creation and healing. Page 158. <laughs> ואתה משמר רע בקרבי, כה זמן שהנשמה בקרבי. מודה אני לפניך, אדוני אלוהי ואלוהי אבותי, מודה אני לפניך, אדוני אלוהי ואלוהי אמותי. ריבון כל המעשים, אדון כל הנשמות, ברוך אתה אדוני. אשר בידו נפש כל חי, ורוח ורוח כל בשר. Page 176, Chatsi Kaddish. It came and 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 יתברך וישתבח ויפאהב יתרומם וידעשה ויתאדה ויתעלה ויתעלל שמי דקפו דשם לעילה ולעילה מן כה מרחתה ושירתה תוש בחתה ונחמתה דמירן מעל מה וימרו As we rise now for Baruch Hu, our call to worship. Baruch Hu, et Adonai HaMevorach, Page 181, like an unbroken current, energy streams from the source, bathing the planet in light, calling forth life, movement, mind, unfolding from matter, the power to love, and we offer it back to you, our own creative energy, ever dreaming, building, shaping patterns out of chaos, searching out light in the darkness. Creation never ceases, not for an instant. All life is aglow with your light. 
All things draw sustenance from the source. Baruch ata Adonai Yotzer Ham Orot. Page 182. Love abundant, love unstinting. Our God, you have enfolded us in love. Tender compassion beyond all bounds. Your precious gift. Our fathers and mothers gave you their trust, and you gave them Torah, laws by which to live. For their sake, teach us as well. Grace us with your guidance, loving Father, merciful Mother of us all. Grant us clear understanding that we may learn, listen, and teach. Preserve, practice, and fulfill with love every lesson of your Torah. May learning your Torah light up our eyes. May our hearts embrace your mitzvot. Page 184. Unite us in love and reverence for you, that we may never feel ashamed of our deeds. We have trusted in your great and holy name. Now let us celebrate the last joy of your salvation. Bring us in peace from the four corners of the earth. Lead us with upright pride to the land that is ours. For you are a God of miracles and wonders. From all the peoples of the earth, you sought us out. You brought us near to your great enduring truth. So with love, we acknowledge and proclaim that you are one. Baruch Ata Adonai, Habocher Be'amo Yisrael Be'ahava. Our praise to you, Adonai. You have singled out your people Israel with love. Shema. service, notice the footnotes, notice the other readings, the other teachings. They are truly inspirational and wonderful teaching moments for us. As we begin to gather chanting words of Ve'ahavta, which God also reminds us that we teach them to our children, but we also teach them to ourselves. Page 188. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha u'bechol nafshecha U'bechol meodecha Ve'hayu adavarim ha'ele Asher anokhi mitzavecha Hayom alivavecha Vishinantam Livanecha, Vidibarta Habam, Vishitecha Babetecha, Ulechtecha Badere, Ushokmecha Ubukumecha, Ukshartam Leot Ayatecha, Vehayula Totafot Bene Necha, Uchtaftam, Anuzo Betecha. Who <laughs> Adi Adonai Elohechem, Adonai Elohechem emet. As we turn to page 196, joining together, Mi Chamocha. Thank you. 
שירה חדשה שבחו גאולים לשמך שבעת הים יחד כולם הודו והמליכו ואמרו Israel, 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 Adonai Sefatai Tiftach, Rufi Yagid Tehilatecha. Adonai, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Our Amidah, page 200. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Ve'elohei avotinu v'imotzeinu Eloheinu Avraham Eloheinu Yitzchak Ve'elohei Yaakov Eloheinu Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leam, Hail Agadol, Agibor, Adonah, Hail Elion, Gomer Chasadim and Tovim, Vikone Akol, Bezor. Page 204, your life-giving power is forever, Adonai, with us in life and in death. You liberate and save, cause dew to descend, and with mercy abundant, lovingly nurture all life. From life to death, you are the force that flows without end. You support the falling, heal the sick, free the imprisoned and confined. You are faithful even to those who rest in the dust. Power beyond power from whom salvation springs. Sovereign over life and death, who is like you? Merciful God, who compares with you? With tender compassion, you remember all creatures for life. Faithful and true, 
worthy of our trust. You sustain our immortal yearnings. In you we place our undying hopes. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mechaye Hakol, wellspring of blessing, power eternal. You are the one who gives and renews all life. So we continue page 209. Today we call it by its rightful name, a day of dread, Nora Vayom, unwelcome visitor, for we want to live in a sunny world where God is love and all endings are happy. But the drumbeat sounds and the words tumble down, and even the angels tremble with fear. For all things are judged, and all things will pass, and life ends in a heartbeat, and death knows our name. At the start of the year, in the season of truth, comes the day of remembrance for all we forget and all we deny. And we fall on our knees in the depths of our hearts, for we know that the bell tolls for us. The words are old and the language was theirs, but the call is real and the message is ours. Take hold of your life while you still have the chance. For your story will end, and it might be this year, in a way you don't know. Take hold of your life, make things right while you can, and don't miss the call of a day of dread. Page 208, we listen to these words of Unatana Tokef. <laughs> Page 212. On Rosh Hashanah, this is written. On the fast of Yom Kippur, this is sealed. How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will reach the ripeness of age? Who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? who by war and who by beast, who by famine and who by drought, who by earthquake and who by plague, who by strangling and who by stoning, who will rest and who will wander, who will be tranquil and who will be troubled, who will be calm and who tormented, who will live in poverty and who in prosperity, who will be humbled and who exalted, but through return to the right path, through prayer and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. The Rosh Hashanah. The Rosh Hashanah.
Kitzo, umilo be Kitzo, mi va esh, umi va maim, mi va cherev, umi va chayav, mi va rav, umi. Shana he got a moon. Me, my rush, who me, La Magifa, Mirosha Shana he got a moon. Me, Vakarika, who me, Vaskila, Mirosha Shana he got a moon. Uvyom som kipor ye hatemun berosh hashana ye hatemun uvyom som kipor uvyom som kipor ye hatemun berosh hashana berosh hashana. Continue with Kedushat Hashem, page 218. Mikadesh et Shimcha Baulam, Kishem Shimakti Shimoto Bishme Maharom, Kakatu Vayad Nivieta, Mikara Zeve Amar. Adonai, Adonai, my dear Shimcha, behold her
As we continue on page 221. God lies on his back under the world, always busy with repairs, always something going wrong. I wanted to see all of him, but all I can see are the soles of his shoes, hence my tears, and this is his praise. Page 222. <laughs> Al kol masecha v'matcha al kol ma shemarata v'rahucha kol amasim v'shtachavu lefanecha kol abruim v'asuhulam. Aguda echad la sorry sorry ha belevam shalem kimo shiadanu adonai eloenu shehashil ton lefanecha oz biyalcha. Rabbi Minecha, Bishimcha no Ram, Al Kol Ma, Shebarata. Page two hundred and twenty-five. The king was absent for many years. His beloved wife was left alone. Her neighbors taunted her. Your husband has abandoned you. Marry someone else. But she would withdraw into her bridal chamber and read her ketubah with its promises of love and support. And in this she found comfort. When at last the king returned, he said to her, I am amazed that you waited for me all these years. And she replied, were it not for the ketubah that you gave me so many years ago, I would have been lost. So it is with the people Israel. We go into our synagogues and study houses, and in words of Torah we find comfort. When at last redemption comes and God says to us, how were you able to wait so long? How did you survive among the nations? We will answer, if not for the memory of your love we would have been lost. And thus scripture says, but this do I call to mind, therefore I have hope. Page 230. You chose us with love to be messengers of mitzvot, and through us you made known your aspirations. Among all the many peoples, you gave us a pathway to holiness. Among all the great nations, you uplifted us and made yourself our sovereign. And so we seek you and serve you and celebrate your nearness to your presence. Your great and sacred name has become our calling. In your love, eternal our God, you have given us this Yom Kippur, a day on which our wrongs are forgiven a day of sacred assembly, a day to be mindful of our peoples going out from Egypt. Our God and God of the generations before us, may a memory of us ascend and come before you. May it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness, together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, the family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace on this day of atonement. Zohreinu Adonai Eloheinu Bo Tova. Amen. Eternal our God, remember us. Amen. Ufokdenu Vo Livracha. Amen. Be mindful of us. Amen. V'hoshi'enu v'olechayim. Amen. And redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. Favor us with words of deliverance and mercy. Show us the depth of your care. God, we await your redemption. 
for you reign with grace and compassion. Page 241. An awe so quiet, I don't know when it began. A gratitude had begun to sing in me. Was there some moment dividing song from no song? When does dewfall begin? When does night fold its arms over our hearts to cherish them? When is daybreak? Page 244. Elohenu velohe abatenu vimotenu, our God, divine presence, whose path our ancestors walked. Bless us now with words first bestowed on Israel in the time of Moses and Aaron, that threefold blessing given us through Torah that joins our hopes with theirs. God's kindness and grace. May it be so. May God bestow favor upon you and give you peace. May it be so. Yivarecha Adonai v'hishmerecha Ya'er Adonai v'hana v'hilecha v'hunecha Yisarunai Pana Vilecha Yasim Lecha Shalom. Marcheno, Avino, Hulano, Kehan, Beot, Paneha, Himeo, Paneha, Natat, Halan, Waruna, and Oheinu, Torat, Chaim, Yavat, Chesed. Would sit up, come, 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 come,
Baruch Adonai. We take moments now for silent meditation. We turn to page 252 as we continue with Avinu Malkenu, Please Rise. Avinu Malkenu, Shema Kuleinu, Avinu Malkenu, Chatanu lefanecha, avinu makinu, chamol a 
Aleinu, Biyon Aleinu, Bitapeinu. We turn to page 255 and we continue with our service, Seder Kriyat Torah, our service for reading of Torah. Adonai, 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 Adonai,
we're going to continue with our Torah service. Now, um, first of all, uh, we're going to invite our youth, the first to fifth graders who have pre-registered, please, um, are going to be going with Jody Kaufman, our Director of Congregational Learning. She's in the back of the sanctuary on the left-hand side. Um, and, uh, and also, <laughs> she's going to be taking them out right now. So please, please, only those uh, who did pre-register, that would be awesome. She's going to take them out for their own program. Bye, guys. We'll miss you. Mwah. <laughs> Perfect. There you, go. you got a few more coming up behind you. You got it, Ezra. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hang on. We got, wait, we got Logan, too. Hold on. Logan's coming right back to you also. There you go. Got a couple more. And there. Woo. All right. So, <coughs> a couple of things. Um, you might have noticed there are some... Um, Empty, I'd say chayim, how, how to, a, a way to describe that. Um, the, the spindles there, the Torah spindles are in our ark. Those are the Torah spindles of our Czech Torah scroll. Um, and so we have them sitting in there as opposed to just having it be um, totally empty as this wonderful reminder that it is coming back soon. Our Czech Torah scroll, ding. Our, um, an angel just got its wings. Um, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. All right. That's another all hate. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> or not. <laughs> anyway. Um, so the Czech Torah scroll, it is coming back the first weekend in November. Um, as you've been hearing about, you know, we have a great celebration weekend, November um, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. On the 2nd, with a wonderful Shabbat service celebrating 75 years, our gala diamonds are forever. Saturday night, which is going to be an incredible, elegant evening. We have an incredible um, gr group who are putting this all together for us. We hope you will come and join us. Dinner, dancing, come on. How much more fun? It's going to be awesome. Um, and then on Sunday the 4th, we will be re bringing in once again our Czech Torah scroll, which um, many of you have already participated in helping the restoration over these past many months. It is back at SoFair on site in Florida. They are finishing it up, cleaning it all up, sewing it together, and they will come back that weekend, that day actually on Sunday, sew it to the Atzei Chaim once again, and we're going to hakafa with it in through the gates and into, um, into our social hall and sanctuary. We'll unroll parts of it. We will read from parts of it. Um, and we will celebrate having this wonderful Torah back again. What's exciting with this Torah scroll is so many years, it has sat in our ark untouched until when we came back for a return, return and renewal, then we started using it as passing it from generation to generation to generation. Um, now, with having it fully restored, we are looking forward to actually using it. And our hope is our B'nai Mitzvah students will read from this Torah scroll, um, that this will be a scroll that will be used regularly. So how incredible to, say, to think that a 300-plus-year-old Torah scroll continues to have life. That's why Torah is called Eitz Chayim, a tree of life. So we hope that you will come and celebrate with us that weekend. Um, this Torah scroll, our Sephardic Torah scroll, uh, so beautiful and majestic, and usually it is the crown jewel in our ark, sitting way up high um, in a place that we can't just, you know, on a whim go and get. We have to take a ladder out. We have to bring it out. It's heavy. We don't hakafa with it. It's heavy. <laughs> Um, although I have to give Alan Shebro a lot of credit because at Return and Renewal, he was determined to make sure that it did the grand hakafa around the campus. I was in awe. <laughs> um, it is a beautiful Torah scroll. It is so unique because, first of all, the parchment is like uh, deer skin. It is deer skin, uh, so it is more supple. It, the writing has a different Ta'am, a different taste to it um, in the sense of the tradition, the Sephardic tradition. 
And um, just its case reminds us of the majesty of Torah. How appropriate, too, because then it is that we read um, from this Torah scroll in uh, the book of, of Deuteronomy, of Nitzavim, that of all of us standing here, and to it, it goes ahead and stands here as witness to us on this day of repentance. Our Torah reading for this uh, Yom Kippur, we have two different aliyot. Um, and I'd like to invite forward our readers of reading Torah, Alan Shebro and Jill Weinthal, to come forward and to join us. As then the aliyot, the blessings, however, become an opportunity for us as a community to share in blessing. Our first blessing I would like to invite forward as Jill will be our reader, our guide um, during this first part of the reading, which you can find um, starting on page 266. Just a reminder, we do all of the Hebrew, the English you can follow along with in the prayer book on page 266. But I'd like to invite forward at this time all of those who are in need of healing. Healing not only of body, but healing also of spirit and, yes, of mind. Um, and if there is a loved one who is not here with you at this time, but you'd like to come and stand here in their place, I invite you to do so as well. So if all of those who are in need of healing will please come forward and join us at, for our first Aliyah la Torah. Yam tu Aliyah Rishona la Torah. Come around here too, if you like, wherever you want to be. Blessing for Torah, for those of you who have your Sidurim, is page 258. If not, I have it right here as well. Okay, here, there you go. You guys want the blessing? There you go. Jill, have you marked our scroll for us? If you will, yes? Will you mark the, yes? Wonderful. Go ahead, everybody. Wait, one. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vahed Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vahed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim V'Natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen Atem Nitzavim Hayom Kulechem Lifnei Adonai Elohechem Rashechem Shivtechem Ziknechem Vishot Tirechem Kol Ish Yisrael Tapechem Neshechem Vegevecha Asher Bekerev Machanecha me otev etzecha ad shoev me mecha le ovecha vivrit adonai elohecha uvelatov asher adonai elohecha Korait imcha hayom 
למען הקמעותיך היום לא לעם והוא יחיה לך לאלוהים כאשר דיבר לך וכאשר נשבע לאבותיך לאברהם לא יצחק ויעקב ולא איתכם לבדיכם אנוכי כורת את הדברית הזאת ואת העלה הזאת כי את אשר ישנו פה עמנו עומד היום לפני אדוני אלוהינו ואת אשר עינינו פה עמנו היום as we join with the blessing following the reading of Torah. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet Lechayei Olam Natah Betocheinu Baruch Tain HaTorah Amen. My God, who blessed our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob, Rachel and Leah, grant each of you refua shlema, refua tanefesh or refua taguf, a thorough healing of body, of mind, and yes, of spirit. God, through your healing, may we be healed, and through your help, may we be saved. Thus we shall glory in you. Blessed be Adonai by day. Blessed be Adonai by night. Blessed be Adonai when we lie down. Blessed be Adonai when we rise up. Into your hand I entrust my spirit. You have redeemed me, Adonai, God of truth. God, in our hearts we name and we stand with all of those who are facing illness and pain. We join our prayers with the prayers of those who love them. Give each person renewed comfort and courage. Strengthen each of them the heal with the healing powers that you have placed within us all. Guide the hands and hearts of all of those who are entrusted with their care. May the knowledge of your love and ours give added hope to them and to their families. May they find even greater strength because of our prayers. They are all linked to theirs. Kein Yihiratzon, may it be God's will. Amen. For our second Aliyah, I'd like to invite forward all of those who want to express gratitude for a wonderful blessing, be it a blessing of a new child, a new grandchild, a new member of the family, be it a new job, be it a new opportunity, um, acceptance to school, acceptance to a new program, um, just want to show gratitude. So if you would like to express moments of gratitude during our blessing of Torah, I want to invite you to come up. Newly engaged, Keith, Mazel tov, you and Sarah. <laughs> I heard of also somebody is going to become a grandparent, Bisha'a Tova. All of the good blessings that we have to share with one another because we should share in our blessings of thanks.
Also, moments, too, of survival. Um, sometimes our prayers for gratitude are when we want to say, thank you, God, for allowing me to survive. Um, maybe it was an illness or an accident or something like that. Alan Shebro will be reading from Torah. Again, you can follow along on page 266. We'll join together with the blessing. One, two, three. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamid Benat Amanu Et Torato Baruch Atah Adonai Lotein HaTorah Amen Amen. Ki hamitzvah hazot asher anochi metzavcha hayom lo nifleit hi lo ruchok haki velo shamayim hi lemor mi yalelanu Hashamayim avayikache halanu yashmienu ota v'nasena l'mever l'yam hu l'mor miyavar lanu el ever hayam v'yikache halanu v'yashmienu ota v'nasena. Ki karov elecha hadavar mod v'filcha uvilvavcha la'asoto re'e natati lefanecha hayom et achayim v'et hatov v'et hamavet v'et hara asher Anochi metzavcha hayom liyahava et aronai elohecha lalechet bidrachav v'lishmor mitvotav v'chukotav v'mishpatav v'hayita v'ravita Uverachacha Adonai Elohecha Ba'aretz Asher Atav Ashama L'rishta V'im yifne Lvavcha V'lo tishma V'nidachta V'ishtachavita L'elohim acherim V'yavodatam Higadeti lachem hayom Ki avod tovedun Lo tarichun yamim Al ha'adama Asher ata over et yardain L'avo shama l'rishta Haido tivachem hayom et hashamayim v'et ha'aretz v'hachayim ha'mavet natati lefanecha ha'bracha v'haklala v'vacharta v'chayim l'man tihye ata v'zarecha v'yahava et Adonai Elohecha Lishmo v'cholo u'ledov kabo Ki hu hayecha ve'orech yamecha L'shevet al hadama Asher 
nishpa Adonai lavotecha liavraham lichak liyakov latet lahem. Amen. A teaching of our sages in the presence of the sacred scroll. We give thanks for the blessings in all of our lives and especially in each of yours. Rav Judah said in the name of Rav, who should offer thanksgiving? Those who have completed an arduous voyage, those who have recovered from an illness or injury, and prisoners who have been set free. But we know that there are also so many other reasons for us to give thanks, so many other reasons for us to share these moments of thanksgiving. So here in the midst of this congregation, we honor each of you who have come through these times and through these moments and found yourself in this place of giving thanks. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hagomel lechachavitam tovot shegmaleni kol tov. Blessed are you, our God eternal. Your majesty fills the universe through your generosity. Each of you have experienced God's goodness. And let us all together be able to say amen that may the source of goodness bring each of you goodness at all times. And let, it, and let each of us be able to say thank you, God, for each and every moment. Amen Amen. As we, oops. As we have given thanks to God for all of our blessings of Torah, we also offer a blessing of Menschlichkeit as well. We turn to page 263. May the one who showered blessings on our ancestors rain blessings on those among us whose everyday deeds are without measure. All who honor parents and elders with love and respect, patience and sensitivity. All who give care to loved ones who are ill and those who accompany the dying. All who bring their warmth and hope to those who are confined, isolated, feeling despair. All who say prayers for loved ones and friends and those whose faith inspires others to pray. All who go to Shiva Minyanim, console the bereaved and stay to listen. All who reach out to the widowed, the divorced, the jobless. All who welcome guests to Shabbat and holiday tables and those who share their bread with the hungry. All who donate to causes that lift up the fallen, heal the sick and heal the home we share this earth. All who notice others, greet newcomers, extend a hand to those with special needs, and all who open doors to the future by caring for children, keeping them safe, teaching them trust, helping them cultivate lives of meaning and purpose. On this day of atonement, may they be inscribed for their worthy deeds. May they be sealed for their acts of goodness and kindness, and let us say, Amen. As we continue now with our Haftarah, and it is our honor to call forward for the blessing of Haftarah, for the blessing before, Judy Weisberg Ortiz, 
chanting Haftarah, Alina Bryant, and the blessing after the reading of Haftarah, Jada Robitaille. Our blessings and readings can begin on page 275. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Lachar Nevi'im Tovim Ratzav Divrehem Ad Kera vigaron al tapso kashofar havreim kolecha vehaged leami pisham uvet yaakov. Chatotam ve'oti yom yom yidroshun ve'da'at derachai yet patzun kego. Show. 
ושלח רצוצים חפשים וחומותם תנתקו הלוך פרוס לרעב לחמך ועניים מרודים תביא בית כי תראה אברום וכיסיתו Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Tzur Koh Olamim Tzadik Bechol Hadorot Ha'el Ha'neeman Ha'omer Ve'oseh Ha'midaber Umekayim Shechol Devorav Emet Vatzedek על התורה ועל העבודה ועל הנביאים ועל יום הכיפורים הזה שנתת לנו אדוני אלוהינו למחילה ולסליחה ולכפרה לכבוד ולתפארת על הכל אדוני אלוהינו, אנחנו מודים לך ומברכים אותך. יתברך שמך בפי כוחי תמיד לעולם ועד ודבר חד אמת וקיים לעד. ברוך אתה אדוני מלך מוחל וסולח לעוונותינו ולעוונות עמו בית ישראל ומעביר אשמתנו בכל שנה ושנה מלך על כל הארץ מקדש ישראל ויום הכיפורים We continue with a prayer for our congregation, page 284. <clears throat> Eternal Presence, who blessed our mothers and fathers, bless this holy congregation, a house of study, prayer, and righteous deeds. Together we give thanks for our leaders, those who learn, teach, and uphold the Torah, inspiring others to learn, teach, and uphold the Torah. Those who do the sacred work of building our community, may their service bring them joy, fulfillment, and purpose, and may they go from strength to strength. For our members, diverse in age, interest, and background, Jews by birth, Jews by choice, and those of other faiths who join with us, all who offer their time and talent their love and commitment. For all who come here on this holy day of Yom Kippur to share the search, meaning, and renewal, your presence is a blessing, your friendship a gift. May the spirit of peace, dignity, and respect live within these walls, inspiring us to care for one another with compassion. And may we be a source of goodness, light, and healing for the world. May the one who blessed the generations before us bless us as we stand together this day. 
our congregation joined with all Jewish communities of the world through our prayers on this Day of Atonement. Let us renew ourselves for the year ahead. Let us honor the precious legacy that is ours. As we continue with the prayer for our country, page 286. God of holiness, we hear your message. Justice, justice, you shall pursue. God of freedom, we hear your charge. Proclaim liberty throughout the land. Inspire us through your teachings and command us to love and uphold our precious democracy. Let every citizen take responsibility for the rights and freedoms we cherish. Let each of us be an advocate for justice, an activist for liberty, a defender of dignity, and let us champion the values that make our nation a haven for the persecuted, a beacon of hope among the nations. May our actions reflect compassion for all people within our borders and abroad. May our leaders and officials embody the vision of our founders to form a more perfect union, establish justice, in domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. We pray for courage and conscience as we aim to support our country's highest values and aspirations, the hard-won rights that define us as a people, the responsibilities that they entail. We pray for all who serve our country with selfless devotion, in peace and in war, from fields of battle to clinics and classrooms, from government to the grassroots, all those whose noble deeds and sacrifice benefit our nation and our world. We are grateful for the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that our founders ascribe to you, our Creator. We pray for their wisdom and moral strength, that we may be guardians of these rights for ourselves and for the sake of all people, now and forever. Page 288, a prayer for the state of Israel. Avinu, you who are a high above all nation states and peoples, rock of Israel, the one who has saved us and preserved us in life, bless the state of Israel, first flowering of our redemption. Be her loving shield, a shelter of lasting peace. Guide her leaders and advisors by your light of truth. Instruct them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who build and protect our holy land. Deliver them from danger. Crown their efforts with success. Grant peace to the land, lasting joy to all of her people. And together we say, Amen. So we join together returning Torah, well, we keep it in its place, but we still, we join in the celebration of Torah with page 290. I invite you to please rise. Yehalelu et Shem Adonai, ki nizgav, shemo levado. Hodo ha-meret,
We continue on page 292, Vidui Uslichot. We stand in humility, conscious of our failings. Shma Kolenu Adonai, hear our call. True sacrifice to God is a penitent spirit. You treasured a crushed and repentant heart. For you are close to the brokenhearted, and you give strength to a suffering soul. You are the healer of shattered hearts. You are the one who binds up their wounds. For thus says the high and exalted one, who lives forever, whose name is holy. I dwell in a high and holy place, but also with the downcast and lowly, to bring new life to despondent souls, to restore and revive repentant hearts. Return now, Israel, to Adonai our God, for you have fallen because of your sin. Take words with you and return to God. Ask the Eternal, forgive what is wrong, accept what is good. We stand in humility, conscious of our failings. We set before you the wrongs we have done. We trust in your compassion, for you know who we are. Shema Kolenu, Adonai, hear our call. Page 294. Continue on page 296. Hello, hey, no, Bello, hey, I will tell you, we must tell you. Tavo, Ve'am, ve'adit alam, 
מתחינתנו, שאין אנחנו עזיפנים וקשי העורב, דומה לפניך. אדוני אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו ואמותינו צדיקים אנחנו לא חטאנו אבל אבל אנחנו חטאנו Please rise as we continue in the middle of page 296. <laughs> Dibarnu dofi, Dibarnu dofi, He evinu, He evinu, Vahir shanu, Vahir shanu, Zahadnu, Zahadnu, Chamahasnu, Chamahasnu, Tafalnu shakir, Tafalnu shakir, Yatsura, Saranu, Saranu, Avinu, Avinu, Pashanu, Pashanu, Saranu, Saranu, Kishinu Oref, Kishinu Oref, Rashanu, Rashanu, Shikhatnu. Together, page 299. For the sin we committed against you through evading and avoiding, because we could not face the truth. For our flight into hypocrisy and deception, because we did not dare to speak it. For the facts we dissembled and all we glossed over, for the excuses we made, for feeding our bodies and starving our souls, for interfering with the souls of others and neglecting their needs, for shifting our responsibilities, for reproaches and recriminations, for our foolishness, our folly, and false standards, for seeing these things only in others, never in ourselves, for our complacency, which blinds us, and our self-righteousness, which lessens us, for calculating kindness and measuring out pity, for charity that is cold and prayers without feeling, for withholding our love, for the appeals that we ignore, and the people whom we refused, for the affection which died and our lives that became bitter, for the visions which faded, the ideals we neglected, and the opportunities we lost, for the fear of change and renewal and our unbelief, for saying prayers aloud but refusing to listen, for being our own worst enemy. Page 300. 
על חטא שחטאנו לפניך באונס וברצון, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך ביודעים ובלא יודעים. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בבלי דעת, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך רצעת רגליים להרע. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בחוזק יד, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך בזלזול הורים ומורים. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך ביצר הרע, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך בקשיות עורף. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בחחש ובחזב, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך בקלות ראש. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך, בשיאך צוותאותינו, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך, בצרות עין. ועל כולם אלוהה סליחות, סלח לנו, מחל לנו, כפר לנו. For all these failures of judgment and will, to God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בגלוי ובסתר, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך בשניית חינם. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בפריקת עול, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך במאכל ובמשתה. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בגילוי עריות, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך באימוץ הלב. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בנשך ובמרבית, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך במסע ובמתן. על חטא שחטאנו לפניך בהרהור הלב, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך ברכילות. ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך בחפת צוחד, ועל חטא שחטאנו לפניך בחילול השם. ועל כולם אלוהה סליחות, סלח לנו, מחל לנו, כפר לנו. For all these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement.
We turn to page 311. If I could see God's face within my heart, I'd see the face of a gardener, compassionate to weed and flower alike, patiently pruning, graciously planting, loving the endless hours of tending and nurturing the earth, seeds, roots, all that grows. And true to the essence of the gardener's work, Forgiving the fallen branches, the withered petals, the cracked stones, the broken stems. If I could see God's face within my heart, I'd see the human face in a thousand acts of mercy. The one who gives bread to the hungry and shelters the lost. Who hears the voice of grief and makes room for the stranger. Who brings relief to the blind, the bent, the unjustly imprisoned. And is true to the essence of holy work. Resisting evil, healing brokenness, easing pain, and in the end, forgiving ourselves as God forgives us. Adonai, Adonai, Rachum Vichanu. For your voice, thank you for you, the soul that you bring to our to our services. And Paul, thank you so much. And Cantor, thank you for filling our hearts. So two old Jewish men were sitting on a park bench, friends for many years. One looks at the other and says, "Oi." The other then turns to his friend and says, Oi. <laughs> the other then responds with, Oi. And then the other one says, Oi. They repeat this exchange a few more times. And then finally, Max says to Irving, um, I thought we weren't going to talk about politics.
Unfortunately, today, almost every discussion we have is construed with politics. Talk about Israel, politics. Talk about homelessness, politics. Talk about immigration, politics. Talk about poverty, politics. Talk about someone's health, politics. Talk about grandchildren, politics. We can turn every one of our conversations into politics. This morning, I would like to have us push away the clutter and get down to the real issue, how we talk with one another. Can we have a conversation and not react, but rather respond? Can we listen to another and not accuse them of being unpatriotic, un-American, or even not Jewish? Can we talk about values and morals and not go straight to, well, that's a political discussion. I would like to think that, yes, we can. We just have to remember to be inspired to do this. Last year, I shared with you all that our social justice work was, ha was going on with the beginning of our listening campaign. The purpose of this listening campaign was to do just that, listen. An incredible and very patient, patient team of individuals moderated discussions at TBS and in people's homes in which the following question was posed. How are you experiencing the brokenness of our world? We recognize that we all come from various backgrounds and experiences that move us to experience the world in very different ways. From the young parents who are worried about their children's education, to the college student who is worried about college debt, to the sandwich generation who are worried about how they're going to care for their children and their aging parents, and to the seniors concerned about pensions and Medicare so as not to be a burden on their children, to the individuals who are concerned about the homeless in our community, wondering where they might wander into after the 57 freeway camp was disbanded, Concern expressed about individual rights, from the right to own a gun to the fear of violence in our schools. The concern over women's rights to decide how to care for their own body and even for sexual abuse. We heard concern over bullying, racism, LGBTQ rights, caring for those who need, those with special needs, and about elder abuse. Overall, our social justice team met with over 200 individuals, including our teens, and they did exactly what we said we would. They listened. So now what? Our goal with this listening campaign and with our social justice project of bringing social justice to the, the center of our congregation is to find an area where we as a congregation can join with other community partners and make a real difference in our world. Unfortunately, the cloud of politics hangs over our heads. No matter how often we say, these issues are about morals and values, the political head continues to come forward and we are left at a stalemate. How can we as a congregation attempt to do something that can make a real difference if we only see things as black or white and no gray? There is no absolute in life except life and death. That is pretty definitive. The, there are areas of gray and compromise that sometimes being the stubborn beings that we all can be, we forget about. Jewish tradition might seem rigid in some ways, 
but there are numerous compromises and interpretations as well. Let's talk about Rabbi Hillel, Rabbis Hillel and Shammai. The Babylonian Talmud, that enormous document which collects the thoughts and arguments, legal decisions and narrative material describing the rabbi's thoughts about all kinds of topics, is not a document that shies away from controversy. In it is found not merely the final decisions of what law wins out, but the arguments of not only two parties, but sometimes many, many views on a particular topic. The Talmud, in a number of places, is, expresses its opinion on the results of suppressing opinions, both positively and negatively. Beit Hillel and Beit Shammai, the two houses of study that follow their namesakes, they are put at odds with each other in offering their opinions. Often an opinion will follow that of Beit Hillel. In Tractate Eruvin, we read a famous passage regarding this conflict. For three years, there was a dispute <coughs> between Beit Shammai and Beit Hillel, with Beit Shammai asserting the halakha, the law, is in agreement with our views, and Beit Hillel contending the halakha is in agreement with our views. Then a bat kol, a heavenly voice, spoke, announcing, both these and these are the words of the living God, but the halakha is in agreement with the rulings of Beit Hillel. Why? Since both are the words of the living God, what was it that entitled Beit Hillel to have the halakha, have the law, fixed in agreement with their rulings. It's hard to do with the behavior, it had to do with the behavior of the students of Beit Hillel. Beit Hillel, their students not only, and their teachers, not only taught their own teachings, their own rulings, but they also taught those of Beit Shammai. For Beit Hillel, it wasn't enough for them to say, this is what we believe, but rather to show that other opinions exist and do so with respect. Beit Shammai, on the other hand, only taught their opinions and did not show respect for the other. Elsewhere in the Talmud, we see the results of excluding the minority voice. There is a story of the oven of Achnai. The story begins with a group of sages sitting around debating whether or not an oven, once broken down to pieces, can be restored <coughs> excuse me, to a state of wholeness. In the course of this argument, all the rabbis, except for one, Rabbi Eliezer, argue for one particular outcome. Eliezer calls on miracle after miracle to prove his point. The carob tree uprooting itself and moving if Rabbi Eliezer's opinion is correct. The stream flowing backward if Rabbi Eliezer's opinion is correct. And finally, Rabbi Eliezer said, if the halakha, if the law is according to me, may the walls of the house of study prove it. At that very moment, the walls of the house of study began to bend inward. But then Rabbi Joshua gets up and he rebukes the walls of the house of study, saying, if the students of the wise argue with one another in Jewish law, then what right do you have to interfere, O oh walls? So in honor of Rabbi Joshua, the walls ceased to bend inward. But in honor of Rabbi Eliezer, they didn't straighten either. They remain bent to this day. Both opinions stood that day, neither straight nor bent, but in a compromising manner. The story goes on to teach that one cannot exclude one opinion over another. Rather, both should be, should be shared respectfully. 
How can we meet this challenge to listen to one another, to respond to all of our concerns and thoughts and not react negatively? Perhaps we need to look at how we communicate. The Ashamnu Confessional, which we recite today during Yom Kippur, alerts us to the dangers of, langu of language. We abuse, we betray, we embitter, we falsify, we gossip, we hate, we insult, we jeer, we lie, we mock. We are unkind, we are violent, we are xenophobic. Written many centuries ago, this prayer still remains relevant in our times. We need to consider the power of language. So perverted by the airwaves, social media, television, tweets, and slogans. Words are no longer weighed carefully, considered for their consequences. They are not used to start conversation, but rather to ignite argument. It's often about the, pro, the provocative actions and the aggressive sound bites, rather than pursuing serious diplomacy. Rabbi Dennis Sasso writes, the dogmatic stances of the extreme right and the extreme left, the racists, the neo-Nazis, the homophobes, the Islamophobes, the anti-Semites, are projected as battle slogans. We used to X out dirty language. Now we write it in bold. What once was spoken only behind closed doors is now blasted all over the internet. What was once deemed unspeakable is now taken for granted, celebrated. He goes on to teach that we often quote but fail to internalize the core teachings of our religious tradition, the golden rule. What is hateful to you, do not do unto others. This is the whole Torah. The rest is commentary. Hillel's aphorism is a commentary on the biblical teacher. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love of neighbor requires love of self, which is self-respect. Both forms of love are in low ration these days. What if we were to reverse the vidui and instead of a confession of sins, confess our aspirations? And what if we said, we have loved, we have blessed, we have spoken positively, we have raised up, we have shown compassion, we have cultivated truth, we have shown respect, we have forgiven, we have comforted, we have repaired. Instead of focusing on what is broken in our world, let's focus on what is blessed. Instead of seeing that which polarizes, let's focus on the values that bring us together. We should not say something is either liberal or conservative, that an issue is either Republican or Democrat, a view is either left or right, Rather, we should focus on how it is that we can come together and have open dialogue and still walk out feeling heard and respected. I believe we can. And being the optimist I am, I believe it can exist in our country one person at a time. Last month, our nation lost a great leader. Senator John McCain was laid to rest amongst the praises of so many people with many differing viewpoints. While we may not all agree with his politics, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor said of Senator McCain, he taught the courage of your convictions, but understanding that others might not share them. But that disagreement is not a reason to dismiss another human being. Senator McCain would bring to the floor of the Senate not only a Republican vote, a Republican voice, but a voice of love for our country and for all people, a hope for people to listen to one another and respect the very basic human rights that all people hold. He worked to bridge gaps that sometimes seem too wide to cross 
but stretch as he might to bring hands together. President George W. Bush said, if we are ever tempted to forget who we are, to grow weary of our cause, John's voice will always come as a whisper over our shoulder. We are better than this America. America is better than this. President Barack Obama remembered Senator McCain when he said, we understood that if we get in the habit of bending the truth to suit political expediency or party orthodoxy, our democracy will not work. That's why he was willing to buck his own party at times, occasionally work across the aisle on campaign finance reform and immigration reform. That's why he championed a free and independent press as vital to our democratic debate. This year, we, along with other congregations and community partners, are joining in respectful debate regarding the issues of morality and values behind the ever-complicated Israeli-Palestinian conflict through our I Engage course. This 10-session course will be taught by Jody Kaufman and myself, and it will take place over the entire year. We are grateful to an anonymous donor who is helping underwrite our course so that we can offer it at a reduced rate of $72 per household. You'll have a chance to get a taste of our I Engage class in a breakout session at 1.30 led by Jody Kaufman. At the end of the year, we will not have a plan to end this multi-generational conflict. Instead, through this course, our hope is for us to work toward how we can come together and wrestle with the complicated issues of this conflict and maybe have a greater understanding and respect for both sides of the conflict. We are going to talk about the moral imperatives of the conflict and how we can have moral respect and not moral content of one another. Our hope is to work toward respectful dialogue in order to not alienate the other. Consensus is not the goal of the program. Respectful dialogue is. There are five core positions of the conflict that we will explore in the course of I Engage. First, the two-state solution as a moral imperative for the Jewish people and Israel should not control others. Second, the two-state solution as a policy imperative, that it's not about the morals, but how to advance Israel's vision and preserve Israel as a democratic society. Third, the two-state solution as an aspiration and worthy goal, but there is not a practical way to get there right now. Yes, there are moral underpinnings to this, but we have to be cautious. And is this the right time for this idea to come to fruition? Fourth, a one-state outcome, which is policy-driven because the idea of a Palestinian state could be dangerous and could risk the existence of the state of Israel. And finally, fifth, the moral imperative of a one-state solution that the state of Israel exists because of a promise, a divine right to the land. In order for us to have this discussion and allow each of us to freely move along the continuum of this broad spectrum, our language must be that of respect and response, not reaction and rhetoric. If you want to learn more about this one-year course, join Jody in this I Engage breakout session. So life is not black and white. It is not left or right, liberal or conservative. Try as one might to say they hold one label, it's not true. For each of us bend in so many ways. 
each of us interpret and understand based on our life experiences and our world influences. So I sit with you, and you sit with me, and we say, oi. <laughs> oi. And oi. And yes, we're talking about life and all that's happening in our world. It's not all about politics. It's about how each of us are experiencing the world and how we can together. Just as our Torah portion that we read last week and today of Nitzavim stated, you stand this day, all of you, before the eternal your God, your elders and your leaders, men, women, your children, even the stranger and the poor within your camp, to enter into the covenant which the eternal, your God, is concluding with you on this day. We stand together and with words. At the end of the Amidah, our silent prayer, we say, Elohai Netzur, dear God, keep my tongue from evil, my lips from deception. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, to our loved ones, to our neighbors, to Israel and America, and to a world that yearns for the healing blessings of sweetness, renewal, and peace. And together, may we make our world stronger and whole. Amen. like to invite forward Jack Holmes, the president of our congregation, to share some words of oi with us. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oi. Oi. Shana Tova. Uh, you've already had a taste of what the discussion groups and breakout groups are going to be today, but let me give you the specifics. The social justice will be in room seven with the social justice committee. Torah study in room eight, men's health issues with Dr. Norman Rosen, restorative justice in room nine with Dr. Alyssa Ackerman Acklin, and the I Engage program you just heard about will be in room 11 with our director of congregational learning, Jody Kaufman. We will uh, return at 3.30 for the Yizkor and Nila service with Sisterhood's Break the Fast to follow. Uh, please help us complete our 2018 temple survey. It's available online and also in the living room. On November 5th, Anat Hoffman of the Israel uh, Religious Action Center and Woman of the Wall fame will be our guest speaker. The topic of her discussion will be, if it ain't broke, break it. She is, she is a tireless advocate for justice and equality, and this is a Shabbat service you do not want to miss. Uh, please save the date for the entire first weekend in November. We will start off with an amazing Friday evening, a 75th anniversary Shabbat service, followed by the next day, our Diamonds Are Forever Gala, and fundraiser will be held on the 3rd. It's going to be a, a joyful party celebrating 75 years of TBS with great food, drinks, live music, dancing, a fabulous auction, and much more. There's also a wonderful opportunity for you just to get together with family and friends and celebrate our 75th birthday and the future of our temple. Uh, sa save the date and send in your RSVPs, please. On Sunday the 4th, we celebrate the return of our Czech Torah Scroll. There will be educational and family events and many things to do, plus a barbecue, and it's going to be fun for everybody. Uh, Sukkot is on the 23rd at 6 o'clock. There will be a potluck dinner in our sukkah here at TBS. And finally, Simchat Torah is on the 30th with the Yizkor service at 5 and our Simchat Torah celebration at 6. Join us as we conclude the reading of Torah with Deuteronomy and start again with Genesis. May your year be filled with sweetness, health, and shalom. Gamar Hatima Tovah. All the information can be found um, in your bulletin, which hopefully you picked up beforehand. I want to thank Gary Holloway and uh, Jill Weinthal for putting together um, this wonderful bulletin. Thank you both so much for the hours that you put into there. Um, and again, just please, there's a lot of dates that Jack just gave to you. Go through and take this home with you and mark your calendars. Also, at 1.30 here in the sanctuary, we're going to be closing the doors there because we're going to have our family service, or excuse me, our children's service. Um, this is meant for our younger kids, 
um, age, you know, uh, second grade and below, uh, to join us and their parents. Please, please, parents, come with. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, so, but we do close the doors there, so just be aware of that um, because it's much easier to keep them contained. Um, <laughs> There you go. Uh, speaking of children, if you would like to pick up your children or others, they are in the, they're in the NPR. They're not coming back in here. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, um, countrymen, please go and pick up uh, your children in the NPR. They are with Jody waiting for you there. This is not, you'll notice, there is no Alenu. There is no Kaddish here because we don't finish. Yom Kippur goes the entire day. So we're going to close with our beautiful song of Hayom Tan Senu, which is found on page 318. Then we're going to come back for afternoon and Yiskor and Nila and Havdalah. Give yourselves the gift of staying the entire time. And I invite you, if you don't participate in some of the afternoon breakout sessions, find a really comfortable place. There's so many places here on our campus. It is so beautiful and wonderful. Find a place for yourself. Please rise as we turn to page 318. Infinite source of goodness, help us to see the good in ourselves, in others and in the world around us. Teach us to cultivate a discerning mind to know right from wrong and a listening heart. Open to love and forgiveness. Guide us to walk in your ways with integrity ever faithful to the promises our forebearers made and may your goodness inspire us to do what is just and what is right amen amen Amen. Hayom tigarleinu. Amen. Hayom tidvishenu litova. Amen. Hayom tichtevenu lechayim tovim. Amen. Amen. Hayom Tishma Shabbatenu. Amen. Hayom Titmechenu Bemin Sid Kecha. Amen. 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 Hayom Tiam Senu. Amen. 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 So, Rhyme Tovim Gemar Chatima Tova.